Today I'm going to share my top tips on becoming a better multiplayer developer in Unreal Engine. These are lessons I've learned while working on my multiplayer games, so I'm passing them on to you to help you avoid the hassles and headaches I had to deal with. By the way, I'm Sketch, I've been indie devving for 10 years backed by computer science background which basically means I'm fluent in caffeine. So cups up, fuel up, and let's dive in. Tip number one, start using Rep Notify. Now RPC calls are great and they get the job done, but there are some cases where you need to use RIP Notify. Let me explain why. RIP Notify is key for anything stateful. Think about things like changing a character's color or when a door open or closes. If you only rely on RPC calls, players who aren't in relevancy, like those who are too far away or who join the game late, won't see those changes. But with RIP Notify, they will because it ensures the changes are replicated across clients, even for those who weren't there when the change happened. For things that don't matter for late joiners, like attack animations or visual effects, you can stick with multicast RPC calls. I actually have a full video on RIP Notify. Check out the link in the top right. Tip number two, always develop with optimization in mind. This goes for both CPU usage and the assets you're using in your game. If you're building for mobile or targeting lower end consoles, be mindful for things like polygon counts and unnecessary complexity in your scenes. Fortunately, with Unreal Engine's 599 system, handling high poly counts has become a lot easier. 99 is a real game changer for optimization. Always remember to check your performance stats as you go, especially when developing multiplayer games where network traffic can be heavy. This will help ensure smooth gameplay for everyone no matter their device. Tip number three, organize your blueprints in code. I know, I know, as a solo developer, we often think it's my code, I know where exactly everything is, right? But trust me, when your project starts to grow or when you need someone to help you out, Poorly unorganized code is a nightmare. Comment your blueprints, color code sections, and make sure your code is structured logically, even for yourself. If you take a break from your project and come back later, it's easy to forget your own structure. Organizing your code now will save you a lot of time and frustration down the line. Tip number four, start thinking about parent classes and child relationships early on. This is going to make your life so much easier when creating characters game modes, or even weapons. For my game, I created two parent classes, one for vampires and one for vampire slayers. The vampires are focused on melee attacks, while the slayers are more ranged. From these two parent classes, I created child classes to make unique characters while keeping the core mechanics consistent. This way, I didn't have to reinvent the wheel every time I wanted to add a new character. Trust me, Parent-child relationships in Unreal will speed up your workflow and help things keep organized. If you found this video helpful, don't miss out. Hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos for more tips, tools, and tutorials. I've got a ton more content on the way, so stay tuned, devheads. Finally, tip number five. Step outside your bubble and start looking into frameworks. One that really changed my life as a developer is GAS, Gameplay Ability System. GAS is a framework that helps handle abilities and their replication across clients. It comes with tons of useful tools that make managing abilities a breeze and help prevent your blueprint from turning into spaghetti code. With GAS, you can handle complex multiplayer interaction in a clean, organized way. If you want to dive deeper into GAS, check out the description below or at the end of this video for more resources. Alright, here's a bonus tip for you. Organize your files into folders. Sounds simple, but let me tell you why it's important. When you keep your files organized, you're keeping a solid structure, making it easy to find what you need, even after a break from the project. It also helps a lot when working with others. If you're sharing parts of your project with a modeler or a programmer, for example, you'll want to give them access only to the specific folders they need. Like models or blueprints, organized folders make this easier. Whether you're sharing through GitHub, a repository, or Unreal source control features. And there you have it. Those are my top five tips plus a bonus tip for becoming a better multiplayer developer in Unreal Engine. 
Hopefully these tips will save some headaches and help you avoid redoing your project multiple times. If tip number 5 has caught your attention, you'll definitely want to dive deeper. Click the video to the right to watch my full breakdown on the gameplay ability system and see exactly how to make managing multiplayer abilities a lot easier. Trust me, it's a game changer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there.